You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a good friend here, Ray Yancey. Hey, Ray, how are you? All right. Good to see you, Mark. You too. Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board, extraordinaire. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a lot of upcoming events to yeah. help people out. You got uh, job fairs and classes, yeah. and let's let we, we get we get like multi months uh, that we can yeah. go over fall. We can't even get into the spring. No, so yeah, it's right, summer. Right. It's, but let's uh, talk about what's what, what's the newest thing coming up. All right, well, we have uh, a couple of things we've had this year that have really been successful. Uh, we've had, of course, the CNA training, which is something that's ongoing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a couple of welding classes that so far are going, and we're going to be doing that again. Uh, I get calls every day, people looking, when are you doing the next class, when are you are doing the next CNA? And you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it. Uh, you don't have that's to spend any money. Well, see, that's, that's the, the thing. Best part. Um, yeah. You know, like what you do and what we do over at Southeastern Regional, right. we have stuff... But there are these for-profit places out there right. that do this stuff and take your money. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Exactly. You don't need to do that. No. Okay, no. so they go to Baywood. Right. Okay? And exactly, in Southeast and especially has helped with the welding. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing all the welding courses down there. Good. So that's working out. But we have, uh, we have a transportation fair that's coming up in August. Uh, it's going to be mainly dealing with the 7D license. Mm-hmm. So you can get information, what do you have to do to get a 7D? We're going to try to have some uh, employers there as well. Okay. So you can be able to do applications and everything. What all, is a 7D the, license? 7D is just the, the license you need to transport passengers. Okay, so all you know, the different buses, transportation the vans, folks you see out there. Right, they Lots all have to have the same. They're yeah. There's a group called right. Community Access. Yeah, right, right. Okay, and everybody <laughs> thinks we're them, so we get those phone <laughs> calls get from time to right, time. Right, I hear But you. if you want safe drivers, I mean, sometimes you're dealing with the driving vulnerable people. Right, right. Hit people that are physically challenged, they're yeah. driving senior citizens, and they're driving kids. That's it. So you got to get the right you license. you got to get the right license. Okay, so that's on that. August 21st. Yep, August 21st. At Baywhip? At Baywhip. Okay. Right. Uh, well, actually, you know, Baywhip and the Career Center. You know, okay, so right. it's the same building. And yeah. then in September, we're doing, uh, we did this last March. We brought in eight to ten of the trade unions. Okay. And we had an info session so people could find out about uh, joining the uh, apprentice programs. Sure. And getting all kinds of information. We're doing it again because it was a good turnout and people got a lot of information from that so we're going to do it again in September. September 12th. We're going to try to do it twice a year from here on mm -hmm. because it, it usually brings a lot of people. Something new we're trying and this will be the first time we're going to do it is a cosmetology okay. info session. Mainly we're looking at uh, uh, nail care, you know, man manicures sure. and skin care. Okay. All right. And uh, we're going to be doing that. And all these things are going to take place at the Career Center in Baywood. Which is? Uh, 34 School Street. 34. That right. I knew School right. Street, but yeah. I wasn't sure of the address. 34 okay. School Street. Yeah. Um, are you partnering <clears throat> with anybody on cosmetology? Uh, we're going to talk to Southeastern, Southeastern of course. Well, <laughs> you know, they're I'm first a proud on the school list. committee member, full I disclosure, and yeah. we have a great cosmetology oh, program. We, and that's it. That's even affordable compared to some of the. I mean, yeah. everybody's. There are for profit companies, right. and there are schools, right. and Baywhip, right. we're non profits. Yeah. We have a different mentality exactly. that we think about. We want to help people, not that they don't want to, but they also make money. Exactly. We're exactly. not trying to make the money, we're trying to help the people yeah, who make the, the people, money. Right. right? Exactly. Okay, That's what it's go. all about. So. So, and then, like I said, with the welding, uh, we're, we're looking at, we haven't got the dates yet, but we're looking at sometime early fall, mm -hmm. and then we're going to do another one in the spring of next year. So okay. we know we're going to do at least two more welding classes. Okay. And then the same thing with the CNA and the HHA. Right. All right. And they're both Certified youth, nurse assistant. Certified nurse home assistant. Home health aid. Home health aid. And both for youth and adults. Right. All right. The youth are basically going to be doing the HHA. Yep. Okay. But the adults will be doing the CNA. Well, I got to tell you something. Those people are doing God's work. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, because when my dad was sick, yeah. I had a CNA and an yeah. HHA. Yeah. I know all about that. The ones that are in at, at, at the center. Mm -hmm. My dad spoke Spanish. So uh, dad no, got okay. to talk to all of them. They yeah, loved right. him. They loved it. They yeah, loved right, him. Right. But I had one for three years that took care of my dad, even when he was an assistant. Right, right. And those people, seriously, I don't know how they do it. 
unfortunately, sometimes they lose their patience because, yeah. like, my dad was 90. Right, right. And, they, and, and, and let me tell you something. You, you need folks to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. And it's, 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 sometimes it seems like it's a thankless job, but it's, it, it, I think people get a lot of satisfaction. I had a student in one of my classes. Right? Yeah. She told me she went to work every day and got beaten up. I'm like, what type of job do you do? She says, well, I'm a, I'm a HHA. Yeah, right. I said, what do you mean you get beaten up? Well, sometimes, you know, yeah, they do, different yeah. things. Guess yeah. what? She's the one that I found my father's assisted living facility because she worked there. Oh, is that if right? I, she yeah. hadn't been in my speech class, right. and she I hadn't heard know. her story. Right. She didn't have bruises or anything. Yeah, right, no, don't right. get me wrong. Yeah. And she loved the, 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 you could tell that she had a love for that. Her right, whole family right. was involved. Her mother was the director. Yeah, she yeah. was involved. She was a college student. Right. And it's good, it's good solid work. And if yeah. you want to go into the medical profession afterwards, to yeah. be a medical assistant, yeah. to then be a nurse, right. to then go into medicine or it's a, EMT, it's, a great it's, it's the entry, it's the entryway right. for all right. of that. And welding? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Nobody that's a welder, no one that's an electrician, no one that's a plumber is going to starve to death. No, because you need all not. that stuff. When your right. toilet's stopped up, you got to get somebody. Yeah. The welding, I got out back. We got rails. Yeah. They need a little they bit need of a little work. work. Yep. And there's a great welder right here in Brockton yeah. that I go to. Three minutes is what we got left. So oh, what okay. else do you want to talk about? Because well, we went through it kind of quick. Yeah. Well, you know, we're looking at at other things too for training opportunities. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're looking at uh, HVAC. Yep. We're looking at plumbing. Yep. All right. We're looking at electricity. All these things, but we got to see what the length of the course is. Yep. You know, so these are the things we're looking at. You mentioned EMTs. Yeah. We want to maybe do EMT training. You know, we have space in our facility. We have, obviously, we have a healthcare lab in our facility, but we also have what we call a smart lab. That can be used. We have whiteboards and in you're there. Doing part, and you're doing partnerships. So yeah, got, all partnerships. I mean, we got, we got Brewster and Brockton right, exactly. that, that are here. Maybe yep. partner with them. Yep, and that's um, who I've already spoken with, with Mark Brewster. Nice guy. The nice guy, yeah. And I want to try to, you know, see if we can get that relationship going so we can start doing it. I mean, there's a lot of things we can do with Baywhip, and we're helping the community. That's what it's all about, so... Well, tell your tell yeah. your partner over there who does all the youth stuff. We want him back too. Oh, okay. Because we want to talk about what you guys do with kids because yeah. it really, you know, summer summer jobs things, right. different things like that. We want to help promote that yeah, because it's a great I, part of Baywood. And I keep telling him to come on over. But well, you're going to have to bring him. Next yeah, time you come, he's coming he'll with He'll come How's with that? me. I, all right, I'll because go Because we, you know, obviously being an educator myself right. and, and being a school committee member, I like to see stuff that benefits kids because... They're our future. Yeah, exactly. We're not getting any younger. Yeah, really. Right? Really. And I know I'm okay, not. Okay, phone so. number, website. Uh, five, the phone number is 508-584-3234. Okay. Uh, you can, they can even ask for me directly. Ask for Ray. Uh, the website is uh, www.bayweb.org. Uh, B-A-W-I-B. B-A-W-I-B. Right, right, right on your shirt. There right you go. Right there. <laughs> well, Ray, it's always a pleasure to see you. Keep doing what you're doing. And Thank thanks you for much. coming in. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.